Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a small size dog sweater. This will fit up to a 10 pound dog and this is meant for like a, a barrel chested dog, uh, like a bulldog or um, a shih tzu, something like that. And it'll fit up to 10 pounds, I'm guessing. Um, so we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making a small size dog sweater. You are going to need some yarn. So today we're using Red Heart Comfort. It is Cardinal Red. This one is a four ply medium weight yarn. Okay, so you're gonna need yarn. You are gonna need a darning needle. You're gonna need some scissors. Now, I want to show you something I treated myself to. So, look at this. I got this. This is the people that I got it from. This is a person that does these wonderful crochet hooks. So, he, he does the wood turning for the handle. And then you get your different size hooks. So today we're going to be using the five millimeter crochet hook. And again, this is by Wheelchair Wood Turning, Alan Stanford. This is his business card. Check out those um, addresses. And yeah, splurge on yourself. You can buy just the handles, so you can get different ones. He's got all different kinds. And then you can buy the fitted crochet hook, either just by itself or as a kit, like as a set, like I did, because I really, really treated myself. Okay, anyway, back to the tutorial. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we are gonna start by chaining 70 stitches, okay? So for me to to start my chain, I cross my yarn. Okay? Cross my yarn and then yarn over and I go through the loop. And I just hang on to where I had it crossed until I've done my first chain. So you're going to want 70 stitches, 70 chains. So you do that and meet me back. So I've got 70 stitches chains now. So what we're going to do is without twist, twisting our chains, we are going to go into that very first chain we made. Okay. We're going to yarn over, pull through to do a slip stitch, and we're going to chain up two. One, two. Now we're going to work half double crochets in the chains all the way around. Okay. So to do a half double crochet, yarn over, into the chain, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Okay, let's do it again. Yarn over, into the chain, pull through, yarn over, through all three loops. I want to do this all the way to the other side. Make sure you end up with 70 stitches, seven zero, 70 stitches, okay? So do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 70 half double crochets. So now what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch into that second chain. Whoops. Okay. We're going to chain up two. Going into this stitch right here, yarn over, we're doing a half double crochet. We're gonna do two half double crochets in a row, and then we're gonna do our first popcorn. So here's how I'm gonna show you how to do a popcorn. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, that's one. 
yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, two, yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, three, yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, four, yarn over into the same stitch, pull through. We've got this whole big mess here, okay? We're gonna yarn over and go through all of it. Now, we are gonna do four half double crochets in the next four stitches, okay? So here's how I'm gonna show you to do it. Okay, yarn over into this stitch, but while you're doing that, I want you to push this popcorn forward with your other finger, okay? Push it forward, and then we're doing a half double crochet like that. So see, it really makes it pop. Okay, so that was one half double crochet. We're doing four, two, three, all in their own stitches. Four. Okay, so we did two, we did a popcorn, we did four. So now we're gonna do another popcorn. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, that's two. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, that's three. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, that's four. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull through, that's five. Yarn over, we're going through all that mess. Yarn over, we're gonna do a half double crochet into the next stitch. And at the same time, we're pushing that popcorn through with our, our, our middle finger. We're gonna go through those loops to make our half double crochet and we're gonna do three more. Okay, so you're gonna repeat this until you have a total of eight popcorns. Okay, so we've got two. Keep going until you have eight and then meet me back. Okay, so I just made my eighth popcorn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I'm going to do double crochet and push that popcorn out. And I just want you, sorry, not double, half double crochet. And I just want you to half double crochet for the rest of this round, okay? And then next round is just gonna be all double, sorry, all half double crochet. And the round after that will be with the popcorns. Okay? That's what we're looking like so far. So we're gonna half double crochet for this whole round. And then when we get to the join, instead of joining in the chain like we did last time, we're gonna join in the stitch. And that just helps prevent my stitches from going wonky. So you will join in the stitch. And then for your round that's all half double crochets, you will join in the chain again. And that just helps my stitches from not going kind of diagonally. If you don't have that problem, then, you know, don't do this little trick. But this is a little trick that I do that always seems to work pretty well for me. So these two rows, I want you to do for a total of 15 rows. And then I want you to meet me back. So one row of just half double crochets and then the one row with the popcorn stitch, okay? And I want you to do a total, counting these two rows, a total of 15 rows, okay? Or rounds, rounds, rows, whatever you wanna call them. A total of 15 of these two rows. So one row, two rows, so on, so on, and so forth. So for a total of 15, do that and meet me back.
Okay, so I'm on my 15th row and I'm just going to join in the chain because this is my chain round. Then I'm going to chain up two, okay? Now I'm going to do 40 half double crochets. So do 40 and then we're going to chain up two and we're going to work over those 40 back and forth for a total of eight rows. So count out 40 stitches and this is going to be working in rows now, not rounds, because we're going to leave the other 30 stitches for a bit. So 40 stitches, half double crochet still, and for eight rows, counting this row, counting this row. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And make sure you check the description because the description is going to have links to all kinds of goodies. It's, oh, I'm going to eventually write up the pattern for this sweater. So there'll be a link to the pattern eventually, not right away. Um, and then there will also be links to my Etsy store and to my crochet group on Facebook and so on and so forth. Okay, I got talking and I lost count. So do 40 stitches, 8 rows back and forth on those 40 stitches. Okay, do that. Meet me back. I've done my 8 rows. So now what we're going to do is we are going to cut our yarn. Okay, and we're going to put our tail through our loop, but we are not, do not, no, 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 pull tight. We're just doing it gently, just two, it's just to hold our spot. We're going to flip our sweater over, so we're going back to those 30 stitches we did not do. In the stitch that already has a stitch in it, we are going to chain two. One, two. Then we're going to do 30 half double crochet across, okay? So into the stitch, pull through, go through three loops. We're going to do this all the way across 30 stitches. And then we're going to start decreasing. Now, what we're working on right now is the chest. The last part was the back, in case I didn't make that clear. So we are going to keep working on this. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Until we have 30 stitches. I've got my 30 stitches and by the way that chain two at the beginning did not count as a stitch now i'm going to chain two and i'm going to turn my work so we're just working on these 30 stitches for this chest okay so at each end of the row we are going to decrease by one stitch and i'm going to show you how i decrease so i go yarn over into the stitch pull through Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. I've got five loops. One, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over, go through all five loops. So that turned two stitches into one. Then you would go all the way to the other end. And when you get to the last two stitches, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to start here. You're going to go in, pull through. Yarn over, go in, pull through. You're going to have five loops. I'm going to go yarn over, go through all five loops. Okay. You're going to decrease one stitch at each end of each row until you get to 16 stitches. Okay. Do that. Meet me back. 
Okay, so I am finished the chest. And I have gone down to 16 stitches. So now, here's where I'm left off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for the back and I am gonna slip stitch into the chain two of the back panel. Okay, we're gonna slip stitch and then we're gonna chain up two. Make a big loop and take your hook out. Now, remember where I told you to pull the yarn to but not tight? We're gonna pick out that knot, put our loop so we're on the back panel. Now we are going to slip stitch into the chain two on this side. Oops, so see here. We're going to slip stitch and this time we're going to pull the tail through the loop and pull tight. Now I tuck that just inside to keep it out of my way. Okay. Now we're going to go back around here and we're going to half double crochet all 16 stitches of the chest and continue grabbing the stitches from the back, which was 40 stitches. So we're gonna have a total of 56 half double crochets and we're not counting that chain two. So 56 half double crochets and then meet me back. Okay, so I'm coming up to my last stitch here. Okay, now instead of like last time where we're just going to slip stitch into the chain two, we're just going to spiral. So we're going to go into the next half double crochet and we're just going to continue. We're not going to slip stitch, we're just going to spiral. And we're going to do this for a total of five rounds counting the round we just did, okay? So you're probably wondering, how do I count my rounds? Well, let me show you. Okay, so going to the leg, this here, see, is your first round. That would be like that, sorry. First round, this will be your second, and so you'll just count. One, two, and you want the same on both sides, so this one only has one. Okay, and you're gonna count until you have five to make your neck, and then meet me back. So once you have five rounds, so we've got one, two, three, four, five on this side, and one, two, three, four, five on this side. Now for your next stitch, you're just gonna slip stitch into it. Cut your yarn and pull your tail through your loop. You're gonna hide your threads. And there you go, guys. Let me see if I can zoom out. I have to zoom out by making my tripod bigger. There you have it. That is your completed dog sweater. Now keep in mind this dog sweater is only supposed to cover the ribs. Like it's not meant to be like a full length dress or a coat. It's a dog sweater. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what kind of buttons to put on and hide my thread like I said and it's all done. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and check that description for all those links that I mentioned. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.